How's it going guys? I'm Theo Joe, and as you know, I love to talk about security when it comes to computers. It's an interesting and important topic and changes all the time. So in this video, I'm gonna go over and help you understand all the possible threats your computer may face in this day and age and what you can do to protect yourself because you may not be as secure as you think. Now first, I want to give a big thanks to the sponsor of this video, Bitdefender. So in this video, we're gonna be using their newest software, Bitdefender Total Security 2019 in our examples. I'm sure many of you are already familiar with Bitdefender and their software, and I've talked about their cool free anti-ransomware tool in the past, but this year Bitdefender really stepped things up further. Their Total Security 2019 software does way more than what you just think of as antivirus. It's truly a comprehensive security suite including everything from network threat prevention to multi-layer ransomware protection and even a built-in VPN and useful utilities like the ability to create encrypted file vaults and parental controls. Oh, and because you guys are so great, for a limited time, Bitdefender is going to give any of you who are new to Bitdefender six months free of Total Security 2019 as a trial. So yes, six months of the full software just for you guys. So if you've never used it before, you can get started protecting your computer right away. Definitely check that out in the description. Now, when it comes to securing your PC, there is a lot to consider. So we can break it down into really three simple categories. First, how broadly you're protected or how many vectors you have secured on your PC. For example, are you only doing virus scans and calling it a day? or do you have coverage for your network and access to local files as well? The next category is performance toll on your computer. Some software out there is notorious for slowing down your system, not naming names, but you probably already know. And the third topic is the security techniques and technology itself. Is it up to date enough to take on the latest malicious techniques evolving every day from hackers? These are all things we can cover. The big thing you have to realize is that there is a lot more to worry about these days than just the plain old viruses where you used to accidentally download a suspicious file and run it and then pop-ups would come up. Hackers have gotten a lot more smarter over the years, but so have security companies. Because a lot of times you can get got by a so-called drive-by attack where an exploit in your browser itself was used to infect you. No user interaction required. And that's why it's absolutely essential in this day and age to have security software that not only does classical virus scans, but can also detect malicious scripts and known malicious URLs out on the internet when you're browsing the web. And you won't realize just what kind of vulnerabilities you are exposed to until it's too late. And while the built-in antivirus that comes with your operating system is certainly better than nothing, it leaves a lot of holes in your security. As you can guess, Bitdefender is more than capable of securing all of these things. Things. It's network threat prevention does everything from automatically checking every web page, blocking attacks before they ever interact with your computer in the first place. It detects the integrity of websites that are supposedly encrypted but may actually be compromised. And of course, checks web pages for phishing and fraud. If an antivirus has real-time protection like this, it means you don't have to wait until you do a virus scan for it to spot a problem. It's instant. Of course, there are a lot of aspects that go into real-time protection, including the firewall, which will make sure that nothing goes in and out of the computer that shouldn't. And that's a common trick of botnets, which literally turn your computer into a slave machine to do the dirty work of some hacker, but with network protection like in Bitdefender, it's easy to protect against. But what about other types of attacks? Ransomware, for example, has gotten a lot of coverage in the past few years, and it's especially scary because it's especially evil, literally encrypting all of your files and demanding money to return them. So it's not just a matter of removing that kind of virus because you'll lose your files. The only way to protect against that is to really prevent it in the first place, and of course, always keep your files backed up, which I've said countless times before. But still, having to restore all your files is not ideal, and one thing I do like about Bitdefender is it has several layers of protection against ransomware and other more conventional viruses. For example, it has what's called ransomware remediation, which automatically detects if a new ransomware virus is trying to encrypt files and then instantly backs them up so you can immediately restore them 
to normal after the virus is purged. It also has a feature called safe files, which protects sensitive files and folders from any modifications except for authorized programs. So this could include your documents and photos, folders, system directories, or anything else you wanna add, and there are a lot of bases covered. Now, next is the topic of performance, because obviously you want good protection, but if the security software bogs down your computer where it's too slow to be usable, then what's the point? And of course, every security suite is going to claim to have low impact on performance, so that's where we can turn to reliable testing firms such as AV Test, an independent research institute in Germany. And considering Bitdefender sponsored this video, you guessed it, they indeed have won the 2017 awards for best performance and best protection from AV test. So it's really the best of both worlds. And these graphs actually show the average overall scores all the way from 2011 and 2013 into 2018. So Bitdefender definitely has a consistent track record. It's not just a one-off. And they actually also won the 2017 Product of the Year Award from AV Comparatives, another independent research institute in Austria. But how can a security suite be capable of both high performance and high security? And that brings us to the third main topic, the technology at the core of the software. Really the most important thing I'd say, and we can get into a bunch of other features that you'll find cool as well. Like I said, Bitdefender has really overhauled their security suite to be better than ever, not just in terms of how well it works, but the sheer amount of features it has as well. For example, you may not know that a lot of times when it comes to trying to remove a virus, they embed themselves in so many places and lock themselves down that even if you delete them, they somehow spring back because some hidden program had them running to reinstall itself. To combat this, normally you'd have to boot into safe mode and handle everything yourself. But Bitdefender has an awesome rescue environment mode, which exists outside of the operating system. So for a Windows PC, for example, it doesn't even boot to Windows with this mode enabled. So the virus literally will never start and Bitdefender can scan the raw hard drive and scrub it of the viruses and they can do nothing to defend themselves. But there's other cool stuff as well, especially having to do with privacy, which as you know, is a big concern of mine like encrypted file vaults. I've used encryption software since forever to store important files, so it's nice to have an easy way to do it right through Bitdefender for those of you who might not be experts. Or on the flip side, you can securely delete files as well using the file shredder, so they can never be recovered. Because if you weren't aware, just because you delete a file doesn't actually mean it's removed from the hard drive. It also has webcam protection, so there's extra peace of mind that no program is accessing the camera without you knowing. And plus, there's other features you would never expect in a typical other antivirus software, such as a password manager for storing your login credentials and autofilling them on websites. And there's even an included free VPN service with a 200 megabyte daily bandwidth allowance that you can upgrade to unlimited if you choose. And finally, the nice thing is there's a mobile app as well. And I'd say on Android and iOS, as long as you keep your phone up to date, you don't really have to worry too much about the same kind of viruses on desktop because phones are much more locked down. But with Bitdefender on the mobile version, you get a few features that are mobile specific, like the VPN again, and an anti-theft feature, which gives you another way to track your phone if it's lost. And interestingly, there's a way you can put in your email address and it will tell you whether it has appeared in leaked stolen databases, which is a really good feature. There's a lot of cool mobile specific features that's more than just like antivirus on your phone. So obviously there was a lot we covered today. I hope you guys found this video interesting. Again, I'll put all links in the description if you want to check out Bitdefender. And those of you who are new to Bitdefender, definitely take advantage of that six month free trial. It's very rare to get one that long. So thanks again, guys. I'm looking forward to hearing from you and have a good one.